This is One Killer Question. Where we ask the one question you need answered after every episode of Only Murders in the Building. Because we don't have time for two. We're that busy. Welcome to One Killer Question. I'm Allie Stroker. We love murder investigators. Uncovering clues, following leads, yada yada. But what about the victims? Without them, there wouldn't even be an investigation. Totally unfair if you ask me. Or if you ask Jane Howdyshell and Julian Sehe, which I'm about to do. Why does everyone hate you. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. People made it a point that they liked the cat more than Tim Kono. <laughs> Poor Tim. That was, pretty, that was pretty rough. I was like, yeah. okay. And do you think he was misunderstood? Definitely, yeah. yeah. I mean, imagine being blackmailed Mm-hmm. and living with this secret right. and not being able to share it with anyone. Jane, why did everyone hate Bunny? Jealousy. Mm. No, I'm kidding. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, Bunny's a pain in the ass, but the thing about Bunny is, is she doesn't care. She's not in the business of making friends all the time. She's got a few select people in her life who are special to her, her friends are tried and true. And, you know, the rest of the people in the building, they're her tenants. And it's not that she doesn't care about them. She cares desperately about every single person in the building as long as they're towing the line (laughs) and are being good tenants. And paying the rent. Yeah, and paying the rent on time. But she doesn't feel like being friends with people is part of her job. And she's a woman who lives for and through her job. But I'm so curious who killed, who killed you? Do you, do we know? I know. You know? Remains to be seen. All right then. Do you believe that because the trio solved Tim's case that they might be able to solve yours? They better. That's all I got to say about that. (laughs) Do you think your ghost is going to haunt the Arconia? Absolutely. Are you kidding? She'll never leave. Yes. Or until your killer is found. I think she's still (laughs) overseeing the apartment building somehow from the great beyond. Bunny would be an amazing, amazing ghost. Yes. (laughs) Would you be a poltergeist or a demon? I think Bunny would be a poltergeist because there would be more room for creativity there. Demon, I think of them as being kind of one-noted, perhaps. I think Bunny would like to switch it up. I don't think I can be a demon after that. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I have a feeling you'd be a poltergeist. I would haunt the hell out of Jan. I would probably insert myself into her bassoon (laughs) so that she's like half a half a note flat every time she plays. <laughs> Probably start there. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking like as someone who's a musician and like a yeah, singer, it's annoying, right? It would it's be like why just torture. Just like that one note that you gotta hit. And I think she deserves it. Yeah, because dying by poison is. I, I've never experienced it, but <laughs> it must be really, really bad. Did you do a lot of research? Extensive days of research. No, I, um, <laughs> but I, I was told that your tongue starts to go down your throat. Charles's character, right, which was so funny because he was <laughs> making all that nonsense. Right. So, so, but that's, that's the poison. What would it sound like? God. Okay, ready? Yes, we're ready. This is so weird. (laughs) That was amazing. That was amazing. (laughs) 
Thank you. I just was curious. And Jane, would you die for us? No. <gasps> okay. If you were to come back and do it again, would you have had different kinds of relationships? I think Bunny learned an important lesson on her final day. And that was these people, Mabel, Charles, and Oliver, who drove her up the wall, just made her crazy. She also realized that there were very good qualities about them. And those were the good qualities that actually saved the Arconia. And it was a big thing for Bunny to swallow her pride mm. and say thank you. For her, Bunny, uh, I think saying thanks is tantamount to sentiment. And yes. she doesn't brook sentiment with anybody. But she, she understood that the profundity of what these three did in order to save the building she cares most passionately about mm -hmm. and is the home to so many people, the fact that she was able to graciously thank them, I think uh, she can feel good about that, having lived that out in her final hours.